In this video, we look at how to draw a bar graph. We will start by collecting the data we have into usable format and go through making the bar graph step by step. This video is made by MediaWorks, South Africa's foremost provider of adult education. Visit www.mediaworks.co.za for more information on our computer-assisted and face-to-face -face learning programs. In this instance, we pretend as if we have asked 30 people about their favorite type of music. And these are the responses that we got. So we are going to draw a table, first of all, with tallies of people who love certain type of music. These are the tallies that we drew for each type of music. So on the tallies, each line represents one person. And in this instance, the fifth line represents the 50 person and it cancels the four which are there. So it means here we have five people plus four people for hip hop, which gives us a total of nine people who love hip hop. For gospel, we have five plus three, which gives us eight people. For pop, we have four people. For R&B, we have six people. For classical music, we have three people. So this information is going to help us to draw a bar graph. First thing that we have to look at is which one is our highest frequency. In this case, our highest frequency is 9. So our bar graph should go up to 9. Drawing the bar graph is going to be something like that. At the bottom, we are going to have the different types of music. So here we are going to have hip hop, gospel, followed by pop, followed by R and B, and lastly, classical. On this side, we are going to put our frequency. So we are going to start from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right. With this information, we are also supposed to label what this is and what that is. So this is the type of music and this is the frequency. Frequency. Right. How many people love hip hop? We have nine. So we are going to draw our bar graph like that. Each bar stands on its own and for gospel we have eight people going up to eight something like that for pop music we only have four which goes up to somewhere there for r and b we have six people which will go up to somewhere there and then for classical music, we have three people only, which will go up to somewhere there. Right. So this is the bar graph which represents the favorite type of music for a total of 30 people.